visit us on onestepenglish.education. Hello. Welcome to English Grammar Crash Course of One Step English. Today, we are talking about simple tense. Using verbs correctly is one of the most important language skills to acquire. In speaking and writing, you often need to indicate when something happens. Now, yesterday, tomorrow. In English, the different tenses of verbs are used to show when something happens. A tense is a form of the verb that shows the time of an action or a condition. For example, Matthew walks to the station every day. This sentence is an example of a simple tense. It tells us when the action took place. There are three types of simple tenses. Simple present, simple past, and simple future. What is a simple present tense? The simple present tense is used to talk about an action that happens on a regular basis. We use the simple present tense for 1. repeated or regular actions in the present time period. For example, Matthew sleeps 8 hours every night during weekdays. Sleeps. The verb sleeps is in the simple present tense. We use the simple present tense for 2. facts. For example, The President of the United States of America lives in the White House. Lives. The verb, lives, is in the simple present tense. We use the simple present tense for 3. Habits For example, They travel to their province every weekend. Travel. The verb, travel, is in the simple present tense. We use the simple present tense for 4. Things that are always or generally true. For example, It rains a lot in winter. Rains. The verb, rains, is in the simple present tense. For regular verbs, all persons and numbers, except, third person singular use the, base form of the verb. The, third person singular, he, she, and, it, uses the, base form and add, s, or, es. In the first person singular, I, for example, talk, smile, I talk, I smile. In the second person singular, you, you talk, you smile. In the third person singular, he, she, it, talks, smiles, he talks, she talks, it talks, he smiles, she smiles, it smiles. 
plural. In the first person plural, we talk, smile. We talk, we smile. In the second person plural, you talk, smile. You talk, you smile. In the third person plural, they talk, smile. They talk, they smile. Simple present tense example dialogues at home. The outside place is good. I love to play basketball there. But it usually rains every day here. The word, love, is a simple present tense. And the word, I, is the first person singular. So, we will not add s to the word, love. The word, rains, is a simple present tense. And the word, it, is third person singular. So, we will add s to the word, rain. Hey! According to what I read, it snows a lot on winter in Russia. But we live in Texas. The word, snows, is a simple present tense. And the word, it, is third person singular. So, we will add s to the word, snow. The word, live, is a simple present tense. And the word, we, is the first person plural. So, we will not add s to the word, live. They swim every morning and they sleep in the afternoon. Both words, swim, and, sleep, are a simple present tense. And both sentences uses the word, they, which is a third person plural. So, we will not add s to the words, swim and sleep. What is a simple past tense? The simple past tense shows an action that occurred and was completed at a particular time in the past. For the simple past tense of regular verbs like walk and wave, add ed to the root form of the verb or add d if the root form of the verb already ends in an e. For example, Play, played, walk, walked, love, loved. The children played for a while. In this sentence, we simply add ed to the word play to get the past tense of the verb played. They walk together. In this sentence, we add ed to the word walk to form the past tense of the verb walked. Matthew loved his puppy like his own child. In this sentence, we simply add d to the word love to form the simple past tense of the verb loved. In the simple past tense of irregular verbs, it can be a bit tricky and hard, but they don't have to be if you familiarize yourself with them. Here are some of the verbs that are irregular in the past tense. For example, Matthew bought a t-shirt for me. Bought. For example, my parents came to the school to attend the meeting. Came. I thought you know what happened to Sophie. Thought. Please know that there is no easy way to learn how to conjugate irregular verbs in the past tense. You simply have to memorize them. 
Simple present tense example dialogues at office. What did you do yesterday? Nothing much. I just stayed at home and watched some movies. The word, did, is a simple past tense. It is an irregular verb. It is the past tense of the word, do. Both words, stayed, and, watched, are simple past tense. We add, ed, for both of them. Sophie cooked a big dinner. Yeah, but I only ate pasta. The word, cooked, is a simple past tense. We add, ed, to the word, cook, to make it, cooked. The word, ate, is a simple past tense. It is an irregular verb. It is the past tense of the word, eat. I met Matthew last night. Really? We had dinner at the restaurant last night? The word, had, is a simple past tense. It is an irregular verb. It is the past tense of the word, have. The word, met, is a simple past tense. It is an irregular verb. It is the past tense of the word, meet. What is a simple future tense? The simple future tense is used to describe an action that happens in the future. The formula for the simple future tense is will plus root form of the verb. My father will sign a new contract tomorrow. Will sign. Matthew will fix my car later. Will fix. I will make a tea this afternoon. Will make. We will win the game tomorrow. We'll win. I will write a letter to my best friend. We'll write. Tomorrow, the sun will rise at 6 a.m. We'll rise. We will travel to Asian countries next year. We'll travel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Visit us on onestepenglish.education.